ഹായ് എല്ലാവർക്കും പുതിയൊരു വീഡിയോയിലേക്ക് സ്വാഗതം ഇന്ന് ബെൽജിയത്തിലെ ബ്രൂ എന്ന സ്ഥലത്തേക്കുള്ള യാത്രയും ബ്രൂഹിലെ ഒരു കനാൽ യാ കനാലിലൂടെയുള്ള ബോട്ട് യാത്രയുമാണ് ഈ വീഡിയോയിൽ ഉൾപ്പെടുത്തിയിരിക്കുന്നത് പ്ലീസ് വാച്ച് ദ വീഡിയോ ഇതുവരെയും സബ്സ്ക്രൈബ് ചെയ്യാത്തവർ സബ്സ്ക്രൈബ് ചെയ്യുക നമ്മൾ ബ്രോക്കിൽ എത്തിയിരിക്കുകയാണ് ഇവിടെ നിന്ന് കുറച്ച് നടന്നു പോകാനായിട്ടുണ്ട് ധാരാളം കാഴ്ചകളൊക്കെ ഉണ്ട് പോകുന്ന വഴിയിൽ ഞങ്ങളിപ്പോൾ ബ്രൂഹിൽ അങ്ങോട്ട് പോയിക്കൊണ്ടിരിക്കുകയാണ് ബ്രൂഹിൻ്റെ ഇടനാഴിയിൽ കൂടെ കുറേച്ച് പ്ലേസുകളൊക്കെ ഉണ്ട് ആ വഴി കൂടി ഇങ്ങനെ നടന്ന് പോയിക്കൊണ്ട് അതാ ഇങ്ങനെ നമ്മളൊരു കുതിരസവാരി ഇങ്ങനെ ചെയ്യുന്ന ആൾക്കാർക്ക് വേണമെന്നുള്ള കുതിരസവാരി സെറ്റപ്പുകളും കാര്യങ്ങളൊക്കെ ഉണ്ട് പിന്നെ യാത്രക്കാർ ഒഴുക്ക് അമിതമായിട്ടുണ്ട് ഇനിവേ എന്തുവാലും നല്ലൊരു വ്യൂ ആ നല്ലൊരു സെറ്റപ്പാണ് ഇവിടെ കാണാനൊക്കെ ഒരുപാട് കാര്യങ്ങളുണ്ട് പഴയ ബിൽഡിങ്ങുകളും മറ്റുള്ള കാര്യങ്ങളും ഒരു കാലത്ത് ബെൽജിയത്തിൻ്റെ ഒരു വ്യാപാരം തന്നെ നടന്നുകൊണ്ടിരുന്ന ഇവിടെയാണ് എന്ന് വേണമെങ്കിൽ പറയാം ഞങ്ങളിപ്പോൾ ബ്രൂഫ് ആ ബോട്ട് ചെയ്യുന്നതിൻ്റെ അവിടെ വന്നിരിക്കുകയാണ് ഞങ്ങളിനി ഇതാണ് ബോട്ട് ഞങ്ങളത് ബോട്ടിലേക്ക് കയറാൻ പോവുകയാണ് okay so a very uh welcome aboard on this beautiful day not too warm yeah. no rain uh it's also very quiet in bruch so also on the canals uh we do a distance of uh, four kilometers in total a uh, half an hour just for your safety always uh keep your hands and your arms inside of the boat so uh welcome uh We make a trip of half an hour in the city. Let you know your safety in your arms and hands in the boat. My Dutch language is not so good. But I will do my best. Let's go. 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 So here now we're going uh, underneath the Bonifacius Bridge. which is also the smallest bridge of Bruges and uh, we also call it the lovers bridge because uh, a lot of people that are going to marry uh, love to take their pictures there there also happen marriage proposals there too it looks like an old bridge but it's quite young it's built in 1911 which is uh, quite young for Bruges so the Bonifatsbrugge is auch uh, the Liebesbrücke Careful for the next bridge, it's a bit low, so don't be surprised and uh, behind the bridge a beautiful view on uh, the old St John's hospital on your right side so achtung voor deze brugge a bit van niedrig und nach deze brugge een zeer schoon aanzicht van dat Sankt Johannes spital aan rechterzijde
So the old St. John's here on our right, founded in the 12th century and it served until 1976 as a hospital. And uh, nowadays it's a beautiful museum. There's uh, also an old pharmacy inside of the 17th century. So uh, that's St. Johannes Hospital is gestiftet in the uh, 12th Jahrhundert and uh, was in betrieb bis 1976. Uh, jetzt, das ist ein sehr schön Museum mit einer uh, Apotheke auf dem 17. Jahr, Jahrhundert. Uh, auch einige Gemälde von Hans Wemling sind daheim, ein Maler von Seligenstadt. So, uh, also the Museum of Hans Wemling is inside of the hospital too. He was also a famous painter of the Flemish primitives. Originally he came from Seligenstadt. And now also we're going to go underneath the lowest bridge. So please be careful. So Achtung vor deze brugge. Das ist die niederhöchste Brugge. So be careful the lowest bridge. And the bridge also gets lower and lower. There we go. Not too bad because we're with quite a few. Oh, this is a coffee bit of that. <laughs> so, uh, the entrance to the beginage is uh, over the bridge to the right, which is also definitely worth a visit. Uh, the beginage is almost like a a little village in the city center and uh, nowadays Benedictine sisters and single women live there. So uh, the Eingang das Beginenhof is over this Brücke naar uh, rechts. Auch sehr schön um zu besuchen. Uh, die mittelalterliche uh, Atmosphäre herrscht noch immer da und jetzt wohnen da uh, Benediktinerinnen und auch alleinstehende Frauen. Und nach den Jahren uh, auch alleinstehende Mannen. Ja. So probably next year also some single men will live there too in the beginnage for the first time. This is also the lock house here at the end. And uh, the lock house also rules the water level in Bruges. And uh, behind the lock house is the lake of love. The water level is also one meter higher on the other side. So the Schleusenhausen here. And uh, this regel the Wasserstand in the inner Stadt. And Ruben is the, the Liebessee. The Wasserstand is the, auch one meter uh, higher on the other side. The Lake of Love uh, also used to be a landing stage uh, for boats traveling to Ghent back and forth. You're also lucky that the swans are back because the swans have been in quarantine for uh, six months uh, due to the bird flu and uh, they just got back a few weeks ago. We have uh, over a hundred swans living uh, in and around Bruges. We have in mehr als 100 Schweden, die lieben in Brugge. Sie waren in uh, Quarantäne für six, uh, uh, six Monate. Für die uh, Vogelgrippe. And this is also here the oldest active brewery on our right side. Uh, half moon, uh, so nice place to visit. They uh, brew the beer Brugse Zot, the Bruges and Fool, uh, which is a really uh, nice, tasty beer, and also a white beer and a Straffe Hendrik, which is very strong. So you can see the process, how they make it. You can taste it too. So you will definitely leave the place happily. <laughs> 
die älteste brouwerij in Haugenmond. Want uh, ze brouwen dat bier de Brugse Zot. Ze kunnen dat bier ook kosten. Kosten is ook een uitstelling. Ja. Oké, okay, de Lowest Bridge. Bite your head. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's also uh, the oldest uh, church in front of us, uh, St. Saviour's Cathedral. And uh, the foundations go back to the 10th century of that church. In those days, it started as being uh, a chapel. The eldest Kirche der Stadt, on the other side of the, the St. Salvator's Cathedral. Die fundamenten dateren als de 10e jaarhonderd. Find your heads again too here. And uh, then also all the houses on the right side are all private houses of uh, the 17th and the 18th century. So this is it all in private warning on the right side of the 17th and 18th century. Also, of course, very pricey. Can also be a bit noisy on busy days when uh, lots of boats pass. And uh, here you can also see the smallest Gothic window in uh, just a few minutes here on your left. There it is, above the black windows on the left. There also used to be a little spy window. That's close to Gothische Fenster there. To open the große Fenster on the other side. This was also a Spione Fenster. <laughs> little window there. It's also here the Palace of the Lords of Ruithuize on the left. Beautiful cargoes there. Now also a, a beautiful museum of uh, antiquities. And also the next bridge, the Ruithuize Bridge, that's the longest bridge in town. And it's built in three parts. So the Ruithuize Brugge bestaat uit Geit Eilen. A teil uit de 17th jaarhonderd, 16th. Op het 15e jaarhonderd met de uh, stalactieten. So the last part with the stalactites is from uh, the 15th century and then the part 16th and the part 17th century. Uh, there we also have the Vroeminger Museum with the blue gate on the other side. That's also a painting museum. A beautiful collection of paintings from uh, Belgium and Holland from uh, the 15th until the 20th century. So that's Vroeminger there, the other side too. This is auch ein gebelde museum. And also here we're passing uh, the Dever, this beautiful lane with the trees. Uh, the Dever also has been a market place for centuries. And nowadays they're still here with flea and craft markets all in the weekends. Also here another nice brewery on the left. Bourgogne de Flandre. I think today is closing day, unfortunately. I think so, I'm not sure. So, nog ein brauerei. I think this is the geschlossen bridge attack. So 
So, so here a beautiful spot. Uh, so this is here the Rose and Hood Sky on our right side. And uh, this also used to be the salt port here in the Middle Ages, also one of the most photographed spots of Bruges. So that's why we have the salt haven here in the uh, Middle Alter. Also this beautiful building here with the little tower now right ahead of us uh, used to be the tanner's house where they also made animal skins into like processed them into fine leather. Now it's a good restaurant. Beautiful view here too, I'm just gonna stop a little moment of the bell for So uh, the belfry here is uh, 18 meter hoog and dived auch a kleine beetje naar rechts naar de posten. Uh, is het 37 blokken uh, aan de middelalter liggen achtje telt uh, 366 stufen. Uh, das aussicht is de adem bedrijflich auf een klare taak. Konden ze ook uh, de Noordzee zien? 15 kilometer van hier. Zo so beautiful to go up there if you can. You can also see the tower is not straight. The belfry. It leans a little bit to the right, to the southeast. And uh, when the years gonna pass, it's gonna be more and more. So really nice to go up, but you do have to deal with 366 steps. No elevator. But of course, a beautiful view. And you definitely can take a break once in a while going up. And on a clear day, it's possible to see the North Sea as well, uh, just 15 kilometers away. Also here on the left side, uh, the beautiful building on the left, it used to be the old Palace of Justice with the four pigeon towers. Uh, pigeons used to be uh, the message bringers. So that's uh, the that's Justice Palace here. On the linker side with the four kleine Tauben Turbchen. Früher uh, waren die Tauben the uh, fliegende Faxmaschine. <laughs> Uh, so nowadays it's a part of the administration of the center of Bruges. And uh, the next bridge here is one of the oldest ones, that's the May Bridge. And it's built in the 14th century, it's actually 700 years old. This is the eldest brother here in the city, the May Brother. That is from the whole time, from the 15th century, 700 years old. It's also a beautiful one, the next one, the Horse Bridge. It stands also on many postcards, paintings of Bruges. So the Pferde Brugge here, uh, the Nachte Brugge, also very Walerisch. And uh, total we have around 43 uh, little bridges in the inner town. So we have a train for the kleine Brücken in the oh, inner stadt.
Und äh, hier äh, erreichen wir auch ein äh, ruhiges Stadtviertel. Äh, das ist hier St. Anna. Und äh, auch die verlorene Ecke genannt. Äh, hier gibt es keine Geschichte. Aber wenn Sie die Zeit hatten, lohnt es sich, äh, um hier äh, zu äh, spaz spazieren. Es ist hier ein Labyrinth äh, kleiner Straßen. Sehr gemütlich hier. Es gibt auch noch vier Windmühlen und ein Spitzenvisier. Äh, die historische Altstadt zahlt ungefähr 20.000 äh, 20 Leute. Und äh, von denen äh, leben viele hier in äh, St. Anna und auch, an die, äh, auch in äh, St. Ignatius ein bisschen äh, weiter. Hier gibt es auch ein Folklore-Visier. Und auch äh, gemütliche, gemütliche Gaststuben, wo die äh, Einheimischen äh, gerne besuchen. So, this is a lovely area. Uh, this, is, this is here the St. Anna Quarter. And uh, we also call this here the Lost Corner of Rouge. And uh, if you have the time, come here too to just wander around. And uh, Rouge is very small. So it's also just a 10 minutes walk from uh, the Burke or the Market Square to here. So very quiet, beautiful old streets. You also find some nice local cafes, some local restaurants here. So uh, there live approximately 20,000 people in the historical center of Rouge. And a lot of them live here in St. Anne's. And also on the other side of the canal, uh, in St. Jill. There you can still see the church tower of St. Jill, just over there, which is also a beautiful old quarter too. Uh, you also find in this area here a, a lace museum and also a folkloric museum too. And also the canal here on our, on our right side has also connection with the North Sea, uh, so just 15 kilometers. That way. So the canal fließt nach uh, dem Nordsee, an der rechten Seite 15 Kilometer von, von hier. Das Kanal fließt auch nach Damme, ein uh, sehr malerisch Dorf, 6 Kilometer von hier, von hier und auch nach Sluis in uh, die Niederlande. Uh, Damme und Sluis waren früher uh, uh, Vorhafen von Brügge. So, uh, also nice to visit Damme, if you can, lovely village, just six kilometers away. And also to Sluis in the Netherlands, which is also very close. Uh, Damme and Sluis also used to be outports of Bruges. And uh, talking about outports, this here now used to be a part of the old uh, medieval harbor. And uh, the building with the tower at the end, that's the porter's lodge. And it also used to be a meeting place uh, where business people of Bruges used to make uh, transactions with merchants arriving here from uh, over the whole of Europe. So uh, we sit jetzt angekommen in the uh, middle-alterlichen uh, Handelshaven and uh, geradeaus is the Palast der Pferner, wo sie die reichen Händler treffen. Also here at the end, that's a lovely square too, uh, the Jan van Eyck square. And uh, Jan van Eyck, he was also a famous painter of the Flemish primitives. In case you also come here later on, it's also not, uh, interesting to look through that white binoculars that stands just here, that white thing. It shows you like a little movie of a few minutes, a uh, VR movie of how the old port used to look like in the Middle Ages. So nice to uh, watch. There we have the lowest bridge in the corner. So the water goes further underneath Bruges all around. The water uh, goes further. So das Wasser fließt weiter unter Brücke.
think that might be my plan. Also, houses along the canal are big, so of course it's expensive here. Uh, but as soon as you go in the little side streets, houses become a lot more uh, modest. And then you also arrive at small houses where big families also used to live together compared to the quarters. Also, the right building on the left used to be a British consulate, and nowadays it's a primary school. So that's why we go about the uh, British consulate and the inside. Und jetzt eine Schüler. Und auch äh, geradeaus in die kleine Straße ja, befindet sich auch der älteste Kneipe von Brügge, äh, Café von Lessingen. Äh, besteht äh, seit 1515 Café von Lessingen. So there in that narrow street just right ahead of us, you also find the oldest cafe of Birch. Also really nice to visit, where you see the flag, which is also the local flag of Birch, Cafe Vlessingen. It exists since uh, 1550. And uh, I think today is closing day, like lots of, lots of places in Birch on Monday. But if you're still around later on this week, uh, definitely worth it. Okay, senor, thank you. Also lots of step cable facades. Here also one on the left with the date on. They're still uh, renovating. So really a typical uh, treffen gable in a Brugge. Viele. So we see many typical step cable facades of Bruges. Very popular in general in Flanders, step cables. But of course you also see them uh, in other northern European countries as well, like uh, the Netherlands, uh, Germany, the north of France. In uh, those days, 17th, 18th century, it was cheaper to build the rooftops like that. So uh, the Stufen Gable, there's in viele in the here, but Das gibt es auch in uh, die Niederlande und uh, Nordfrankreich. Also, uh, the water here in the canal is uh, fresh water and uh, it also contains a lot of fish, uh, especially eels and carp. Uh, it also contains a lot of bicycles <laughs> and this is here the deepest part uh, where we are here it's around two meters deep uh, in all the other places that we were before uh, you can actually just stand up it's uh, around one meter and a half a bit more or less so uh, the was in the Kanälen sind äh, Suswasser und enthalten auch viel Susse, Suswasser, Fisch. Und das ist hier die tiefest, äh, zwei Meter tief hier. Also the canal here on our left side, that goes further, has also connection with Gantz which is also a beautiful city, just uh, 45 kilometers away that way. So the canal here on the other side flies to Ghent. Ach, sehr schön, uh, 55 kilometers from here. And uh, hinter, there is also a schleuse, and uh, there gibt es auch a kleine hafen, uh, ein Einlagstelle for uh, Privatboote. So also behind the second bridge on the left, from there on, you can also go with your own boat. There's also a small port there. But where we are here, private boats are not allowed. And also here now, when there are no cars passing, a beautiful view of uh, the oldest bridge with the oldest church and the old palace of justice. So yeah, I see a good aussicht of the oldest Brugge with the oldest Kirche on the... That's uh, 
попались. Da auf der linken Seite äh, ist äh, der Fischmarkt mit seinen äh, Saulen äh, aus dem 19. Jahrhundert und äh, von Mittwochmorgen bis äh, Samstagmorgen äh, könnte ich hier noch äh, frischen Nordseefisch äh, kaufen. So, that's the fish market also still in use uh, as a fish market. So on the other side you can still buy some fresh Nordseefisch in the mornings from Wednesday until Saturday. On this side here, there's always a little uh, craft market on. There's a little uh, Holzkübel. Uh, about in 1920-1930. So it's not very old. Those, uh, that, uh, those wooden facades, it's built in the 1920s-1930s. Looks a lot older than it is. It's also that hotel from a movie in Bruges, older movie with Colin Farrell. And also we have a beautiful view of the Church of Our Lady. So, I should have a schöne Aussicht hier auf uh, die uh, liebe Frauenkirche, fast ganz aus uh, Backstein erbaut. Und uh, dahin befindet sich auch uh, die uh, Madonna mit Kind aus weißem Marmor von uh, Michelangelo. So, uh, the Church of Our Lady in front of us is also the second highest uh, brick tower of Europe. There should be one a bit higher in Germany, I think in Ulm, I'm not sure. And uh, inside you also find a little statue of uh, Michelangelo, of Madonna with child in white mar marble. So uh, we are almost back at the end of our tour. Have a good stay in Bruges and uh, enjoy the tranquility, not too busy, no rain. <laughs> So uh, thank you.